Washington Wizards have lost five straight on the road. They were in Cleveland taking on the Cavs Thursday. Bradley Beal, not an Eastern Conference All-Star starter as those players were announced on Thursday, but possibly a reserve. He has played very well again this season. 38 points Wednesday against Miami, picking up right where he left off. Then Jetty Osman. Now, I've seen somebody in Cleveland with chase down blocks before, haven't I? He gets Jordan McRae from behind. And then Davies Bertans heating up from beyond the arc. One in the corner, one on the wing. He had 17 points, four of eight from three-point land. Kevin Love missing the hook shot, but Larry Nance Jr. there for the putback. He had 22 and 12. And Ish Smith zipping one to Beal for the driving lay-in. 68-61 Washington at halftime in the third. Kevin Love to Colin Sexton, who had 29 points. And look at him with the big left-hand finish, plus the foul going along the baseline. 10 of 15 from the floor for Sexton. Funny moment here between Kevin Love and Bradley Beal. Beal takes the charge on Tristan Thompson, and he plays dead in the middle of the paint. And look at this, Kevin Love, the opponent, reviving him. Uh, see, we can all get along, can't we? Meanwhile, Bradley Beal... Not so generous to Kevin Love in return. Driving for a lay-in, then another one. How about Beal here on a pull-up three? Beal was 16 of 24 from the floor on Wednesday, 15 of 22 on Thursday, 31 of 46, 67% in the last two games, and he's totaled 74 points, 36 of them on LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers in Brooklyn to take on Kyrie Irving and the Nets. LeBron 9-2 all-time against Kyrie Irving head-to-head, -head, the two former teammates in Cleveland, of course. And on Thursday, all-star starters were announced. LeBron James, once again a starter, once again a captain as he gets the fall away. Another all-star starter in the Western Conference, Anthony Davis with a putback slam for L.A., 17-12. Lakers, LeBron, the spin move for the lay-in. How about, though, for Brooklyn, Spencer Dinwiddie to Wilson Chandler from the top of the key for three, tying things at 38, and then AD saving the ball from going out of bounds. Alex Caruso open in the corner to tie it back up at 50. Dinwiddie to Jarrett Allen. No DeAndre Jordan, no Nicholas Claxton for Brooklyn, so Allen the lone big man in this one. LeBron knocks down a triple. LeBron reciprocating. Kuzma found him on the last play. LeBron to Kuzma this time for three. The Lakers were 11 of 18 from beyond the arc in the first half. It was 75-70 at halftime. Dwight Howard filling in for JaVale McGee in the starting lineup. 14 points, 12 rebounds for Dwight. Kyrie to Torian Prince for three. Brooklyn pulls within three. And then Kyrie gets a three of his own. It's a one-point game at 95-94. 20 points for Kyrie on the night. 16 points, 11 rebounds for AD as he hits a three. Then on the other end, he gets the block on the Kyrie layup attempt. Take a look at how high he gets. That hand going to the top of the square on the backboard. End of the third, Rajon Rondo comes up with a steal. Long pass to Jared Dudley, the former net. Beats the buzzer with a three ball as the Lakers had a season-high 19 triples. And then they just took over in the fourth. They would go on a 26-2 run in the final frame as LeBron gets his 10th triple-double of the season, 91st of his career. That's fifth all-time. As here he is just backing his way in for the easy two. And then he's going to dilly-dally a little bit, compose himself, and knock down a jumper. 27 points, 12 rebounds, 10 assists for LeBron, shy of Kobe Bryant for third on the all-time scoring list as he salutes President Bill Clinton in the process. Lakers by 15.